SAPP underscore SAPEA underscore 2023 exam practice questions with explanations are available in the video for you to study. Which of the following are the best architectural decisions for an extension application in S for HANA? A. Use developer extensibility for data intensive ABAP extensions to S for HANA. Use side by side extensibility on SAP BTP ABAP environment. When additional SAP BTP services are intensively used and SAP UI 5 user interfaces are required. B. Use developer extensibility for data intensive ABAP extensions to S for HANA. Use side by side extensibility on SAP BTP ABAP environment. For applications that are less data intensive and SAP BTP services that are intensively used. C. Use developer extensibility for ABAP extensions to S for HANA that do not require a UI component. Use side by side extensibility on SAP BTP ABAP environment. For extensions that require a SAP UI 5 based user interface, the answer is a developer extensibility. Embedded Steampunk is ideal when the extension logic must run close to the core S4 HANA system, especially for data intensive ABAP operations. Side-by-side -side extensibility on SAP BTP is suited for decoupled applications that benefit from SAP BTP services like workflow, AI, or integration, and typically require SAP UI 5 UIs. Option A correctly matches both use cases with the best fit extensibility approach. As the chief enterprise architect at Wanderlust, you're aligning identified business activities with the lead to cash business capabilities from the SAP reference business architecture. Based on the CIO's two key goals, likely customer engagement and revenue generation, which of the following are the most appropriate business capabilities? Select three correct answers. A. Marketing Analytics, Recommendation Management B. Account-Based Marketing, Lead Management C. Marketing Campaign Management D. Social Media Management E. Marketing Strategy Management, Brand Management The answer is ABC. These capabilities align with lead to cash processes, particularly in the marketing and sales life cycle. A helps analyze campaign performance and personalize customer journeys, vital to optimizing leads and conversions. B. Directly supports lead nurturing and targeted selling, which are key in B2B contexts like Wanderlust. C drives the execution of marketing tactics, critical in generating leads that feed into the cash process. As the chief enterprise architect of Wanderlust GmbH, you're leveraging SAP's end-to-end E2E business process content repository due to limited internal documentation on online marketing processes. An SAP Enterprise Architect is mapping processes to capabilities using both the Business Process Model, BPM, and the Business Capability Model, BCM. How are the BPM and BCM models connected? Select two correct answers. A. Through the E2E Business Process of BPM, which is enabled by the Business Domain of BCM. B. Through the business process module of BPM, 
which is directly linked to the business area of BCM. C through the enterprise domain, to which both the E2E business process of BPM and the business domain of BCM are assigned. D through the business activity of BPM, which is enabled by the business capability of BCM. The answer is CD. See both the BPM, end-to-end -end business process, and BCM, business domain, models are structured under shared enterprise domains creating a strategic alignment between process and capability views. D. There is a direct link between business activities, BPM, and business capabilities, BCM, ensuring that what the business does, activities, is supported by what it can do, capabilities. As the Chief Enterprise Architect of Wanderlust GmbH, you've completed documentation of the business ecosystem for online marketing. The CEO now requests a suitable artifact to help rejuvenate online marketing efforts with internal teams and external partners. What should you do to provide the most relevant and actionable information in this situation? A. Extend the organization map into a statement of architecture work. B. Create a stakeholder map. C. Extend the organizational map by detailing the organization units, partners, and stakeholder groups further into business roles and personas. D. Extend the business ecosystem into business capabilities and processes. The answer is C. To activate and align employees and partners effectively in a transformation effort like rejuvenating online marketing, it is crucial to understand who is involved and what roles they play. Detailing business roles and personas adds clarity and enables targeted engagement, both for communication and for change adoption. Wanderlust has identified demand and supply planning, SAPIBP, implementation as a quick win based on extensive stakeholder input. As the chief enterprise architect, you are now tasked with scoping and contextualizing the architecture project. Architecture principles have already been adopted. Which activities should you initiate to help finalize the statement of architecture work for the SAP IBP implementation? Select three correct answers. A. Conduct a fit gap assessment to identify requirements that cannot be met. B. Define the solution context for the architecture work. C. Conduct a high-level capability assessment to identify areas of improvement, business and IT. D. Conduct a technical proof of concept to understand features and functionalities of SAP IBP. E. Outline the aspirational solution concept to address the stakeholders' needs and business requirements. The answer is A. To finalize the statement of architecture work, you must clearly define A fit gap assessment ensures alignment between business requirements and SAP IBP capabilities. It's essential for defining project scope and risks. B. Solution context clarifies the technical and business environment in which SAP IBP will be implemented. E. Aspirational solution concept sets the vision and target state, ensuring it addresses both stakeholder needs and strategic objectives. As the chief enterprise architect at Wanderlust, you're reviewing the Smart Battery Initiative and notice that key dimensions, value proposition, cost structure, revenue streams, partners, 
and channels have been developed in isolation and are not aligned. Which artifact should you recommend to provide a unified, consistent, and holistic view of the initiative in a single framework? A. Architecture Principles B. Statement of Architecture Work C. Business Strategy Map D. Business Model Canvas The answer is D. The Business Model Canvas is designed to integrate and visualize all critical business dimensions. Value Propositions Customer Segments Revenue Streams Cost Structure Key Partners Channels It provides a holistic, single-page view that aligns all elements of a business initiative like Smart Battery. As the Chief Enterprise Architect of Wanderlust GmbH, you're responsible for selecting an enterprise architecture, EA, toolset to support the organization's EA activities. Which are the most critical criteria to consider when selecting an EA toolset? Select three correct answers. A. Support for data import, export capabilities to use external reference data. B. Use of familiar office applications to reduce barriers for contributors. C. Enforcement of a strict sequence of EA method activities for project efficiency. D. Excellent visualization support to engage portfolio and business leaders. E. Version control in the repository to manage architecture changes. The answer is aid. The most effective EA tool support. A. Import, Export. EA often requires integrating data from other systems or reference models like SAP, TOGAF, or industry frameworks. D. Visualization. EA insights must be communicated clearly to business it, and executive stakeholders. E. Version control enables tracking changes, managing dependencies, and maintaining consistency across evolving architectures. Wanderlust GmbH is reviewing its enterprise architecture, EA, practice structure. Upon assessment, you find that some essential roles are missing from the current setup. Which of the following roles are typically missing in such a scenario and should be added to strengthen the EA practice? Select two correct answers. A. Data Architect B. Architecture Board C. Application Architect D. Business Architect the answer is BD. B. Architecture Board. This is not a role, but a governance body, and its absence is often a major gap in EA practices. The board provides strategic oversight, decision making, and review of architecture standards and initiatives. D. Business Architect a key role responsible for aligning business strategy with architecture. Missing this role creates a disconnect between EA and business value. Why would you recommend building side-by-side -side extensions to an SAPS 4 HANA system using SAP Business Technology Platform, BTP? A. Extensions on SAP BTP technology can easily use S for HANA eventing. B. Extensions on SAP BTP can maintain SAP user and security context and allow the use of S for HANA eventing. C. 
Extensions should be built on SAP BTP because it is the only option for building a consistent user experience using SAP Fiori UX styles. The answer is B. SAP BTP side-by-side -side extensions allow you to scale independently from the core S4 HANA system. BTP supports S4 HANA event-driven architecture through Event Mesh, enabling reactive extension behavior. SAP BTP also supports propagating the user and security context which is critical for consistent identity, access control, and auditability across systems. Which programming model should a BAP developers use to build SAP extensions that adhere to the clean core strategy in S for HANA? ASAP Cloud Application Programming Model, CAP BSAP Classic Extensibility Model C. RESTful Application Programming, RAF The answer is C. The Clean Core Strategy emphasizes minimizing customizations inside the S4 HANA Core to keep it stable and easily upgradable. RAP is SAP's modern ABAP programming model designed for building cloud-ready, extensible business applications while following clean core principles. RAP supports service-based, API-driven development, promoting side-by-side -side and embedded extensibility without modifying the core.